talked about uh, we've we've gotten into some VBA on the show before, and we've talked about um, I think I'm sure at some point we've talked about the personal macro workbook. The personal macro macro workbook. If you don't have one, it's a, a place where you can store all those kind of macros that you want to be available globally to any file you use. So they're not really, you know, specific to one. Uh, file or model that you might be working in. So I have talked about on the show how I have all my sound effects on my um, QAT that I store in my personal macro workbook so that I can have them available in all files. Um, so, you know, I live in LA and um, there's, there's a small amount of narcissism, narcissism in this town, so I like to share macros for narcissists sometimes. Um, when you have a personal macro workbook, Something that you may not have noticed before is if you uh, click on, if you're in your Visual Basic Editor and you expand to look at your personal.xlsb, uh, there is a this workbook module. Now you know that when you start Excel, you have a personal macro workbook. It always opens, and, but it's hidden in the background, right? So you don't actually see it, but it is an open workbook technically. And like with any Excel file where you want to store a macro to fire on the workbook open event, you can do the same thing in your personal.xlsb. So what that means is whenever you open Excel, this macro will fire. And the macro that I chose to fire whenever I open Excel is uses a function called application.speech.speak, which is basically the text speech function. Next Application username. This will read whoever's, you know, if it's your boss that you, you know, secretly install on his or her uh, computer when they're at lunch, it'll talk to them. Application username just returns the, the name uh, of the user on the computer that you're using. And then this is a little concatenation technique that you can use in VBA. So effectively, if we knew how to make the sound work on the Google Hangouts, I could run this in my immediate window. Still. You look amazing. And it would tell me it's amazing. And so now that I have that built in to my personal.xlsb, it's the first thing I hear when I fire up Excel. And um, this and more VBA tips just like it are available in my book, The 40 Greatest Excel Tips of All Time in a section called VBA for Troublemakers. So that is my, um, that's my tip. I'm sticking to it. We'll have it up on the Excel TV site after the show.